In this video, we are going to see how we can set custom background color for selected cells in data grid. As you can see, we have a data grid here and the item source is a very simple list of authors. And this is the author. Let's see how it looks like. And if we select uh, the cells, uh, so the, the selection uh, color, uh, the selected color is the default color that WPF has. So we, we basically want to change that. So for that, we need to change the, uh, the data grid style here. Uh, so we're gonna say data grid cell style. So we want to, we, we basically want to change the cell style style. And then we are going to use triggers. So we want to say if the data grid cell is selected, then change the background color. So our trigger property is going to be data grid cell is selected and when value is true what we what we want to do is we want to set data grid cell background to any custom color for example let's do red Okay, that should be it. Let's let's try. Yeah, that, that worked. You might uh, you might also want to not set the style directly in data grid, but rather create a resource for that. So basically, we can have in those resources and. Uh, and move everything there so for that we can have so we basically gonna remove everything everything here and uh, so here we need to have target type uh, x type we're gonna say data grid cell This worked too, but uh, please note that this is going to override all data grid cells that you might have in your project, which which is not always uh, what, what you want to do. So if that's not the case, if that's not what you want to achieve, you can also add a key here. Let's say my cell style. And now you need to specify for your particular data grid that you want to use this particular style. So for that, we can say cell style equals to static resource my cell style. Yeah, that worked. That's all. Thanks for listening.